I wonder if there's any place that sells swimsuits that suit my Pokemon. I wouldn't know, but uh, I'll leave you to it. Anyway, welcome to Cinnabar Island, or I should say, what's left of Cinnabar Island. Because, well, it's uh, kind of not here. There's a notice here. The Cinnabar Gym has relocated to Seafoam Islands. Blaine. So, yes, Cinnabar Gym is no longer here. But interestingly, there's still a Pokemon Center here. I feel so sorry for Blaine. He lost his gym. Well, that's the risk you have to take if you want to build a gym on a volcano. It's been a year since the volcano erupted. It is so fortunate that everyone evacuated in time. That's good to know. But by some miracle, the Pokemon Center still stands. Unless this just happened to be a rebuild of one. Which I guess makes sense. But there we go, let's just heal our Pokemon. So, Ampharos is now back up to full strength. So, we're not... <laughs> well, obviously, it's going to be a short visit to Cinnabar, seeing as it is literally... Well, literally gone. The ravaged town of the past. And look at all these uh, rocks that we can uh, use rock climb on. Also, here's a familiar face. Who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion. Although it was short-lived thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. Yeah, I see it. A volcano erupts. And just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, for real, show me how many Kanto badges you've got. You're not ready to battle me. Well... At least we finally found uh, the gym leader of Viridian City, but we need to get uh, our seventh badge. And we need to, uh, once again, hop into the water and head towards Seafoam Island. Yeah, there we go. Now we're actually uh, riding on Kingler. And we have more people to battle against. I guess it's impossible to swim all the way to Johto. Yeah, that'll be one hell of a challenge. I mean, I don't know how... I don't know what the equivalent distance is between, like, Johto and Kanto is, but maybe it won't be impossible. I mean, you, like, you hear all the time people trying to swim across the English Channel, like, uh, trying to do it in the fastest time and, you know, doing all these swimming challenges for, ch for charity and all that, so... I guess if it if it's that sort of distance, I guess it wouldn't be that impossible. But probably it's probably something I well, it's something I definitely wouldn't do. I certainly wouldn't want to swim across the English Channel. <laughs> I want to. I certainly wouldn't want to swim across what twenty odd miles across uh, the sea. Not to mention trying to avoid all the uh, the ships uh, in the channel. Because uh, the English Channel is definitely one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world, that's for sure. And I definitely don't want to uh, come face to face with, uh, with a load of massive cargo ships and also all those ferries between uh, between the likes of uh, Dover and Calais. Anyway, Love Disc. Ah, man. A Pokemon that I think a lot of people forgot existed. <laughs> I certainly did. <laughs> oh, I love this. Anyway, another bit of a warm-up battle for Ampharos before we head to uh, the gym leader of... Well, I say Cinnabar Island, but really it's more like the gym leader of Seafoam Island. And I just hope my Pokemon are going to be up for it, so especially considering I've only really got four Pokemon that can uh, easily uh, help me out with the gym. Lapras is going to be the main Pokemon I'll be using, but I'll pretty much use the other like four, uh, the other three main Pokemon that I have with me. But we'll see how it goes. It can't. It can't be as bad as against Sabrina, surely. Anyway, we've got a 
bit of land here. Okay, looks like there is an item nearby. But this way. Talk to me. Thank you. <laughs> Found it. A trainer that I can enjoy fighting. Oh, okay. You obviously don't see the Ampharos behind me. Bert. Didn't I battle someone called Bert? What am I thinking of Pokemon Let's Go? I honestly don't remember anymore. That's the problem with playing two Pokemon games at the same time. <laughs> Oh wait, it might have been Bert's B-U-R-T. I seem to recall battling someone called that, but... Yeah, I can't remember if it was in this Let's Play or whether it was in Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> anyway, yep. Another easy victory for me. I've got goosebumps. Well... Oh. I'm glad that I gave you a nice battle. Anyway, time for another battle. But this time, for once, not against like a fisherman or a swimmer. We're actually battling against a picnicker. Hey, Shinx. Although, of course, this is not the first time we've actually seen Shinx. I actually managed to find a wild Shinx by listening to the, uh, what was it, the Sinnoh sound. Uh, when we were walking along that route, I think, near Vermilion. And there we go. Another victory for us. Also, I think there's an item nearby. There is, right above me. More Stardust, and also another Pokemon Trainer to battle. Uh, just seeing if there's anyone up there. I did battle you, so let's just hop across the water. Hey, hey, will you battle me? Hey, hey, kids! Yes, I will battle you! Ah, <laughs> oh, your name's Ernie. Hey, Starly! I thought your name might have been Krusty, because he did say, hey, hey! Also, nice to see another Sinnoh Pokemon. Starly. Yeah, I'm still kind of debating what Pokemon game I should do, like, a Let's Play of next. Like, a Let's Play of a main Pokemon series. Once I've done most of Soul Silver. I have to say, before I started doing this Let's Play of Soul Silver, one of my... One of the other Pokemon games I kind of was thinking about doing a Let's Play of was Pokemon Platinum. A phone call, and I think I might do that next after Soul Silver. I don't know. Um, well, I don't know. There's definitely a lot of Pokemon games I'd like to play, so there's obviously Pokemon Platinum. I could actually do a Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow, which was the very first Pokemon game I ever played, so it might be a nice little uh, throwback. And also, it might be nice to uh, have a little bit of a look back at the original games, especially considering we recently had Pokemon Let's Go, which is effectively a remake of Pokemon Yellow. And there's also the likes of Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I'd quite like to do a Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald, thinking about it. I know that's obviously uh, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire, but they're on the 3DS, and I don't have one of those. Uh, 3DS systems that have been modded so I can connect to a computer so the only way I can record like gaming footage on a 3DS is if I point my video camera towards the 3DS and I don't really want to do that but I kind of want to check out Pokemon Emerald rather than the more recent games anyway anyway I think we're actually at, is this the gym or are we just that one that enters to uh, the, the yeah to uh, the caves of the islands but whatever, we've arrived at the Seafoam Islands. And let's see what kind of purple do you have. Ah! Shramish! Shramish! Oh dear, I have Signal Beam. Not good news for you. Yeah, 
Indeed it wasn't. There we go. Not many experience points there. Okay. Even though I lost, I had fun. Well, that's the important thing. And here we are. Ooh, Seafoam Island. Somebody put a notice on the sign. The Cinnabar Gym has moved here. Okay. So... Where is the actual gym? There is a ladder here. It's here! Alright, Seafoam Island! Here's the gym! Yo, legend in the making! This gym has many trainers and rocks in the way from the rebuilding. It sure won't be easy to get to Blaine, but keep you cool and defeat the trainers one by one and you will surely find the path. Okay, so we've arrived at the gym. But I'm pretty sure there's also quite a bit to uh, check out at Seafoam Island as well, so... Let's get my Pokemon ready. A white lab coat is a researcher's life. We may be living in a cave like this, but we never forget to do the laundry. Okay then. <laughs> and immediately starts off with an Arcanine. Also, the location of this gym is kind of inconvenient. Because, of course, we are nowhere near a Pokeball Center. Well, at least the Hydro Pub was able to take care of Arcanine. It's pure white in my head. <laughs> This white lab coat makes me feel like I have become smarter for some reason. Right, so it looks like the only way to get through is to defeat everyone. Well, maybe not everyone by the looks of it. But I might as well battle against everyone. We lost the gym on Cinnabar Island and I felt lost before we came here. But at least you guys managed to evacuate alright and managed to relocate here, so that's uh, good. Anyway, nine tails. Okay, let's just save some of my uh, attacks here. And you're going to use quick attack, so that's fine. Critical critical hit? Ooh, you little git, uh, Ninetales. There we go, no problem for Lapras. We take a step back when we are defeated. Don't you think we are downright honest? Never put us in the same category as scientists who help bad guys. Ah, you go backwards, but of course you went backwards in the wrong direction. Right, so this is where... Well, actually, I was going to say I had to battle everyone anyway. Anyway, wow, to see a gym in a cave like this, I'd love to explore it. Torkoal now. Alright, level 53. Okay, looks like these Pokemon are going to be pretty high leveled, but we should be okay, despite the fact I've only really got four Pokemon that I could really use in this battle. I mean, Kingler may have a slight chance? I don't know. Because this is a water type, so maybe it might have a slight chance of surviving, but I don't think I'm going to be using Kingler. Anyway, that's Torkoal defeated. How do I feel about losing? It hurts! I bet it does. Bitterness leads to improvement tomorrow. Uh, thank you for moving back. Now, if I was to talk to you from the sides, are you going to move back that way? Blaine may have lost his gym, but he never gives up. His perseverance is what motivates me. Fair enough. And, okay, let's see what you have, Linden. Ooh, magma. Let's just use Waterfall again. And let's see how that does. Uh, does very well. Nice. 
Ah, I can't do any more. <laughs> Together with Blaine, we will rebuild our gym. Oh, you do move to the side. That kind of sucks. I'm in the middle of collecting battle records. Can you help me? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, Waldo. Hey, so that's where you are, Waldo. Ah, no mal. Where's Waldo? Or, here in the UK, where's Wally? He's here at uh, the Cinnabar Gym, or should I say the Seafoam Gym, all this time. Although you're not wearing your trademark uh, outfit there, Waldo. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be so good. Who in the world are you? Someone who already has eight Johto Gym badges and six Kanto Gym badges. Ooh, you look easily defeated. Wow, you obviously haven't been paying attention to the other trainers I've been battling against. <laughs> Merle. Macargo. Alright. One more waterfall should do the trick. And indeed it does. I didn't win. Hey, <laughs> you don't say. Pardon me, I fail to sense how strong you are. Yeah. <laughs> Better look next time. Anyway, let me just quickly heal my Pokemon. Also, I need to start using some of these items here. But I'll worry about that another time. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of rare candies. I suppose if I wanted to, I could give some rare candies to some of my Pokemon now, but we're not going to bother. But what I am going to do is I'm just actually going to save the game right now, just in case something horrible happens in this gym battle. But at least I should have a bit more of a chance with this gym compared to our encounter against Sabrina. Anyway, what's up Blaine? Hey you! My gym on Silver Island was burned down by the eruption, but I will not give up. Take a look at this cave. We have turned it into a gym, and I am still acting as a gym leader. I will give you the gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Well, that sounds fine by me, Blaine. Question is, what kind of Pokemon do you have, and how many? Uh, just three Pokemon, that's not too bad. Uh, starting off with Macargo, that's not too bad. We should be alright with this, so uh, we'll start off with a Waterfall. Ah, and of course you got Flame Body, but that should be alright. I'll heal you up in a moment. And I could just use Hydro Pump and still have, like, the upper hand, so we'll use Hydro Pump. Ooh, Overheat. Of course, that's going to do normal damage to Lapras because you're also part Ice type, but you should still be okay. Yeah, special attack harshly fell, but you do have a berry, yes, uh, or herb rather. But presumably that's just a one-time thing, so you could probably use overheat again. But that still won't knock out Lapras. Okay, yeah, this gym battle is actually going to be pretty easy. I don't know why I decided to save. I was just kind of worried, just bringing back awful memories of that battle in uh, Saffron City. But of course, Lapras is burnt, and I need to be careful. I'll show you the spirit of this cave, Jim. Go for it, Blaine. Level 59. Right, I don't think I want to take a chance. I think I might as well just use a full restore. Get Lapras back up to full health, and also get rid of its burn. It's not kind of, I'm not really sure what kind of move Rapidash will know, so let's just heal up and just prepare. Flare Blitz. That did a considerable amount of damage. I, would that, I, 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 I wasn't paying too much attention to how much hit, uh, hit points Lapras had before I healed it, but would that have knocked it out? I, 
think it might have. I think I might have made the right decision. Use another Flare Blitz. Because, of course, Rapidash is faster than Lapras. But it is going to take a considerable amount of damage with Recoil. And hopefully this Hydro Pump will be enough to knock it out. And it is. Excellent. Good job, Lapras. Oh, yeah. I definitely made the right decision with healing Lapras then. Because I don't think Lapras would have survived that first um, attack there. So... It was a pretty easy gym battle overall, but definitely not the easiest I had. Because I did have to do a little bit of healing and uh, just a bit of thinking there, but yeah, good battle, Blade. Awesome, I have burned out. Take this Volcano Badge. Yeah, there we go, that's our seventh Kanto Gym Badge. Here, I'll give you this too, it's called Overheat. It has a slight drawback, but it's powerful and well worth it. Alright, I'll have a look at that. I know what the drawback is, but uh, we'll see how powerful it is. When I rebuild my Cinnabar Gym, we we have to hold a rematch. Now that, I am very much looking forward to, Blaine. Anyway, so now that we have... Well, first of all, let me just use my Hyper Potion and just heal up Lapras. Even though I'm probably not going to use it in battle again until... Uh, whenever. Might as well heal you up anyway, just put my mind at ease and let's have a look at this new TM uh, there it is overheat uh, power 140 90 accuracy the user attacks the foe at full power using fiery energy it also sharply reduces the user's special attack hmm 140 I think that's actually weaker than two of the moves that Typhlosion knows already. Because it knows Flamethrower. Yeah, Blast Burn and Eruption. Yeah, these two are actually slightly stronger. And... Well, stronger, although Eruption... Yeah, the lower the user's hit points, the less powerful this attack becomes. Right, so really you should use Eruption at full health, but that should be no problem. And then Blast Burn is effectively a fire version of Hyper Beam by the looks of it. So, I guess you could learn Overheat if you wanted Typhlosion, but I'm not in a massive rush to do that right now. But we are done with this gym, and that's our seventh gym badge. Just one more to go, so we need to head back to Cinnabar Island and talk to Blue. And we're getting another call from Mother, so he probably uh, left another item for me to collect from the delivery man. But I'm not ready to go back yet. I want to have a little look around this place, because I think there's actually a bit to see around here. And... I think for now, I'm just going to switch to Typhlosion for now, but once we head back out to sea, I'm going to bring back Ampharos out up front. And go from there. Ah, a bunch of boulders to move. Alright, well conveniently, I still have my Kingler with me. So, let's see what we have here. Oh, we have an item. Actually, a few items, actually. An ice heal. Okay, we've got a ladder going down, plus another item up there. Oh, there's actually a bunch of trainers down here. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, what, was that actually, uh, did Seafoam Islands, like, fully exist in uh, the original Gold and Silver games, or was that also severely cut down? I actually can't remember. I, I cannot remember what uh, Seafoam Islands was like in the original Gold and Silver games. But hey, looks like we've actually got a little bit to check out, so you know what? Let's check out this place. Including some Pokemon trainers. I'm happy with that. To beat the cold, try warm clothes and a hot drink. That sounds like common sense to me, that, to be honest. But of course, we're living in the Pokemon world. I could just get a Fire-type Pokemon uh, to warm me up. I'll just cuddle up against a Fire-type, a big Fire-type like Typhlosion, and it'll keep me warm um, all the time in this cold, so... Ah, the wonderful world of Pokemon. <laughs> And 
And there we go, easily defeated that Deli Bird. And Deli Bird does give out a generous amount of experience points, which I like. That was a hot battle. It sure was. Anyway, wee high skating. Hey, hey, you're in my way. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean... <laughs> you're challenging me to a gym battle. Also, you're a boarder. I think ice boid uh, boiding? Ice boiding? Ice boarding is a thing. Also cloister. Uh, not ideal, so I'll tell you what, let's just switch to Amphros. Also level 55. Okay, these are actually pretty powerful Pokemon. I like that. Hit two times, but that's fine. Amphros didn't suffer too much damage. We go. Easily taken care of. And next up, Dugon. Oh, that's fine. Uh, again, that's uh, an easy job for Amphros. And there we go. That's Dugon knocked out. I got kicked around, you sure did. But I'll let you get on with your boarding. Alright, please pass through. <laughs> Alright, we got another person. What did you come all the way out here for, I wonder? Well, originally a gym battle, but as Seafoam Island seems to be... able to be explored in this game. I might as well check out the place. I, as I said, I can't remember if you could actually explore Seafoam Islands like properly in the original Gold and Silver games. That's something I have to look up. Look, look up after um, I'm done with this recording. Ooh, that was a pretty powerful ice beam, but hopefully my thunderbolt will be enough to knock out this dugong. And it was. Ooh, critical hit as well. Okay, just in case he uh, wasn't sure, that was enough. And there we go. Much more experience points. And he sent out a Lapras. Hey, you got a Lapras too. Nice. I'm going to Thunderbolt it because my Lapras is the better Lapras. End of. <laughs> well, obviously I'm using Ampharos, but you know what I mean. My Ampharos, my, well, my Ampharos is stronger than that Lapras, and also my Lapras is also stronger than uh, your Lapras, so my Lapras, is, by default, is the better one. <laughs> Trainers are everywhere. Damn right they are. Also, we've got a ladder there. Let's have a quick peek down here. And see what we have here. Also, I need to keep checking this. See what we've got. Okay, looks like we've got some more blocks to move out of the way. Okay, we've got another ladder here. Right, let's see where this goes. Well, that's it for this episode of my Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play, but there'll be some more episodes coming up very soon. So, for the time being, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.